Hey there YouTube, France Hopper here. It's Wednesday, June 7th, and today I want to show you a new accessibility feature that Apple teased earlier in the year, but is now available on iOS 17, or at least the betas of it anyway, as well as iPadOS 17 and macOS Sonoma, and it's something that's called Personal Voice. What it is, is it's an accessibility feature for those who may be at risk of losing their voice due to a disability. The way that it works is you spend 15 minutes reading a series of randomly generated phrases, and then you wait. In my case, three days. I recorded on June 5th, it finally started working today. That said, this is a beta feature, so I wouldn't necessarily, you know, count on it just yet, but if you are someone who's at risk at losing your voice, I do think it's a good idea to go ahead and set it up now, because you can do multiple recordings over time and, and set it up. So, I'm going to cut to me reading a series of sentences that I've typed in the Notes app on my iPhone, so you can hear what, you know, it sounds like when I'm reading it, and then we're going to have me read it so you can hear what personal voice sounds like. So, let's take a listen. This is Apple's new personal voice feature in iOS 17. This is me actually reading what I've typed on the screen right now to give you a baseline of what I actually sound like, but then I'm going to play back this entire script that I've typed out here using personal voice so you can see just how surprisingly good it actually is for a version 1. So, it's an accessibility feature that takes about 15 minutes to complete the recording process for, but generating the voice takes three or so days. You need to keep your device plugged in for it to calculate, so your results may vary. Apple claims the process uses machine learning and the processing is done entirely on device. Nothing is sent to Apple. This does seem to be the case with the processing times, and iCloud Sync for it doesn't quite work yet. Like, my phone that I'm recording this on has fully calculated it after the three days, but my iPad thinks I still have a minute of recording to do, so I've done that again on there to see how that does for comparison. Anyway, it's a promising feature that will no doubt become an invaluable accessibility tool for those who need it. This is Apple's new personal voice feature in iOS 17. It's an accessibility feature that takes about 15 minutes to complete the recording process for, but generating the voice takes three or so days. You need to keep your device plugged in for it to calculate, so your results may vary. Apple claims the process uses machine learning and the processing is done entirely on device. Nothing is sent to Apple. This does seem to be the case with the processing times and iCloud Sync for it doesn't quite work yet. Still, it's a promising feature that will no doubt become an invaluable accessibility tool for those who need it. So, I think it's pretty obvious when it's me speaking and, you know, me on the phone speaking. It definitely is rather monotone, I'd say, right now, which, you know, is something that I would say I still expect from a lot of synthesized voices. And, you know, it's not like a system that's had hundreds and thousands of audio lines for me trained on so that it can pick up, you know, what I sound like when I pause or when I put emphasis on, on things like that. And I do think it's interesting that it doesn't quite do emphasis yet, because some of the phrases that you'll get, you know, will have exclamation points or questions at it, and it's like, are you going to eat that? Wow, this is yummy! You know, phrases like that, and I was thinking that maybe it would actually kind of take that into account. It doesn't quite yet, but for a, a first version, I do think this is actually really good, and it's really impressive what they can do with just 15 minutes of recording. No one else out there, as far as I know, has done anything even remotely like this. And I do think that's a true testament to the focus that Apple has always put on accessibility. You know, it, it's really easy to knock them for a lot of things, but I do think as far as accessibility is concerned, it's something that they've always had a, a genuine focus on. 
And this is something that I think is going to be really cool to see come out later this year, you know, with iOS 17, iPadOS 17, and, and macOS Sonoma. As far as if it's going to be an iOS 16 or not, you know, who, who knows? But I do think this is a good feature to have, and I think it's worth setting it up, even if you never use it, because you never know. You know, you, you could lose your voice because of an accident or, or, you know, just getting sick. And it's really good to have that option available. So anyway, there you have it. Hope you liked it, and it'll be interesting to see if it gets any better, you know, over time in, like, later versions of iOS 17 and macOS Sonoma. I do think iCloud Sync is definitely going to be the one thing that they need to get uh, working on it before it's really ready for prime time, but not bad, Apple. Not bad at all. That's it. Thanks for watching.